Hello, good day. My name is David Isamoji, owner and founder of Water T-Shirt Design. In this video, I'm going to be designing a Cat Life T-Shirt. So I'm going to open Photoshop now. I'm opening Photoshop. I use Photoshop CC for all my designs. And with this, I'm going to be able to design quality T-Shirt. So to get started, I'll come to File, New. I like to design in this format, 4500 pixel by 5400 pixel, resolution 300. So with this, I go to OK. And I get this background so I want to be able to put up this background at the end so if you see if I come to these eyes and click on these eyes I can't do anything so I have to double tap on this and press OK now I can put up this background so we'll be putting this background up at the end of this design so let's get straight right to the design so to get started I'm going to come to my shapes as you can see let's call the rectangular the rounded rectangular but just make sure you come here I'm going to make it a circular ellipse too so to get a perfect shape, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my shift key button, my left mouse button, and I'll just drag outwards, drag my mouse out. So if I drag my mouse inward, it's going to reduce it. If I drag my mouse out, it's going to increase it. So I'm okay with that. I'll press, I'll come here and press this move tool. So it gives me the shape. So I'm okay with the shape. So I'll just take it up a little. So now, I'll make this white. I'll make this white. Just for this. As you can see, I've made it white. Made it white. So next step, I want to come here and bring in my element. This cut, a cute cut for the cat lovers. So now I'll just, if you notice, it's just placed randomly on the shirt bar. What I'm next I'm going to do is come over here, it's highlighted, and I'll right click, create clipping marks, as you can see, and now we've got the cut. So now as you can see, it's not placed in the middle, so I'll just place it here. Just place it here. Um, then I'll Ctrl T to reduce it, because I want to reduce it. Ctrl T, then the next step is to press my Alt key, Shift key button my left mouse button as you can see and I'll reduce this press my OK okay so I'll control T again I'll increase it a bit so I'll bring my mouse to this edge just follow my step once you follow my step it will be easy you just if you have to watch it twice you watch it twice but once you follow my step the way i do it you should get it so you press your outer shift key button left mouse key you drag again when you're okay with this you move you release your hand from your left mouse button your shift and your auto key then you press enter on your keyboard so now love the cut the way it is next step i'll come out to this ellipse player that's the box if you remember if i click on it everything goes up if i click on it come back so i'll create i'll double tap just come to this edge you double tap come to strokes color and i'll just you can see i can pick colors from here you can pick colors from here but before then let me cancel increase this to 10. increase this to well, let me make it 20 30 so it's 30 so now I'll go to colors you can see I can pick any colors from here just by overing my mouse as you can see I can pick any color but I want the color to be uniform so I'll pick from this design you can see I'll just press OK and OK again so now I want to group these two layers together but before then I uh, want to do something okay I'll group it together to do that I'll highlight this first layer by just over my mouse to it then I'll click on my control button and click on this layer too then I'll do control G to group it now if I put this off it goes off so the next step I want to make sure it's in the middle so to do that I'll highlight this like it's on already then I'll do control and I'll light this again clicking down my control button let me show you the way I did it again one more time clicking down my control button I'll use my mouse to click on this then you see this appears 
just click on it as you can see it has moved it to the middle now so the next step is to put the word and for this i'm going to be doing so you can see it's color is a color picker once you see this to appear you can just pick from this so i'm gonna do that okay so i'm gonna do cut life as you can see it's quite small that's not a problem i'll just press on this triangle tool then i'll do ctrl t then i'll come over here do my normal control pressing down my normal control pressing down my normal control shift button and my left mouse click button i'll just drag outward and here you have it cut life so now when i'm done i'll just press enter and i've gotten the desired size just press enter now i got the shirt cut life so i'll put a stroke on the cut again on the cut life so to do that i'll just come to this edge double tap come to strokes again increase this a bit to this time i'll do 10 then i'll come here and click on green green seems not to work properly so i'll do red, red black sorry and i'll try to increase this 10 to uh, about 30 press ok so here we have it cut life so with that i'll just alight uh, this and do my control and click on this and just move them down with my arrow button on my keyboard move them down and here you go we have a t-shirt design for the cat lover the t-shirt design is not ready so remember i told you i was going to turn off this background so i'll just click on these eyes it automatically turns that off so we are left with the design so now the first step of this video is to save this so I'll come to save pictures cut life cut life I'll save it as photoshop you can see it saved as saved so i'll save it as png because i'm transferring to a shirt and i don't need the background so i'll save it as png again save it as png so you see i like to save it as fast install is okay so that's the first step the second step is to go over get your 3d mockup most t-shirts sell more to sell on teespring you need normally they give you a 3d mockup to place your design on but if you are to promote it on facebook on youtube here yeah, you need a perfect 3d mockup which you can use so i'm going to open my favorites you would have seen this in all of my videos it's always my favorite to get this you only have to come to and come to this site freepick.com and search in the search bar t-shirt mockup once you search for t-shirt mockup you're going to get a t-shirt mockup as simple as that you look for the one you prefer this is one i prefer i love to use this so I'll just come and look for where it says your design here so I'll just double tap in this little box press ok this will just simply tell you that once you put your design you should press you should make sure you save it so we're going to show you all those processes so now I'll bring in my design cut life this is it I'll just bring it into to a simple I just had to drag it from there to here as simple as that then now you can see it's quite big if you put it on your shelf like this will be extremely big so what to do remember I told you how to increase and reduce so you just over your mouse to this edge or any of these four corners any of these four corners anyone works well so you, uh, let me use this so you do alter key button pressing that down shift key button pressing that down your left mouse key button pressing that down then you drag inward to reduce outwards to increase so i'm dragging inwards to reduce it 
think I'm okay with this then I'll press enter then remember the tool does to save so you come to file save now if I go back to my shirt as you can see it's there cut life so I'll just increase re, sorry I'll just lift it up a bit and I'll come to file again and save that so if we go back we have it on our shirt it's as simple as that your design is ready you can promote this on Facebook on Instagram Pinterest and you will be rest assured you're gonna get buyers for this so the next step is to save this so just file save us come to pictures cut life full cut life full save it as PNG progressive quality the highest quality possible okay see it's saving our design is saved it's as simple as that. It just took us about 11 minutes to get this wonderful design done. It does not need to be complicated. A design does not need to ever be complicated. So as it, it took me 11 minutes, to about let's say 12 minutes to get this finished. And tell you thank you for watching. And I appreciate you. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed. Please leave your likes, comments. It's very important. Help me. Let me know what you want me to design next. And I'll try my best to design it. I'm a freak in t-shirt design, I will design anything. Just let me know what you want me to design and I'll do that. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow on our next video. Have a nice day. This is going to be number 10 in this series. If you've not watched the remaining episode, please watch the remaining episode so that you become a pro in t-shirt design. Thank you and see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye.